you can now easily create encapsulated, reusable web components with Shadow DOM v1. Mobile payments become streamlined with the Payment Request API. The Web Bluetooth API is available experimentally on some platforms as an origin trial, and there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 53. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are powerful development languages, but they can be difficult to maintain in large code bases. And if your app embeds third-party content, you need to ensure that its included styles do not affect other parts of your app. Chrome 53 supports Shadow DOM v1, which allows an element to encapsulate its style and child DOM away from the main document. Shadow DOM v1 has some significant changes from v0 and is broadly agreed upon by major browser vendors. Chrome will support both versions of the API until enough of you have moved to v1. Eric Beidelman has a great primer on using Shadow DOM to create self-contained, reusable web components on web fundamentals. Check it out. Completing payments on the web can be a cumbersome process for users. Autofill has made it easier to enter information, but trying to complete a checkout form on mobile is still a challenge. Chrome 53 on Android adds support for the Payment Request API, a new spec from the W3C that provides fast, seamless, and secure payments on the web using a credit card or other payment provider like Android Pay. It also lets users provide a billing address, shipping details, and other payer information without having to type anything. Expect to see support for more platforms coming soon, but in the meantime, check out EG's Payment Request API Integration Guide on Web Fundamentals at g.co slash payment request API. The Web Bluetooth API is available experimentally on some platforms as an origin trial, allowing sites to communicate with nearby devices using the Bluetooth generic attribute profile. Sites that send notifications to Android devices running Marshmallow or later can now provide the badge shown in the status bar instead of the Chrome logo. And finally, Chrome on Android now allows muted videos to begin playing without user interaction. If the video was marked as muted and has the autoplay attribute, Chrome will start playing the video when it comes visible to the user. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 53 for developers. Check the description for more details and links to the documentation and specifications. If you want to stay up to date with Chrome and know what's coming, click that subscribe button up there, up there, somewhere up there. Anyways, I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 54 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.